and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. So we're gonna be jumping right into this female Joker glam. This is my rendition of a more glam, sexy Halloween look that I wanted to create. You know some of us wanna be a Joker baddie for Halloween. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. this look with freshly cleansed and moisturized skin. I'm going to be priming my skin and I'm going to apply the primer to my face and also to my neck and chest. Using an airbrush gun and white airbrush makeup, I'm going to spray my chest and neck evenly to create a pale white skin color. Using a large foundation brush and white cream paint, I'm going to pale out my face starting with a little bit of product and then building up as I go. Here I'm using a white concealer and I'm going to highlight under my eyes and blend out all around the face. everything in, I'm using a translucent powder on a powder puff and heavily packing powder under my eyes and setting my whole entire face with this and then I'm gonna go ahead and let that bake for a few minutes and dust away the powder. I'm gonna be filling in my brows using a purple brow pomade and an angled brush and I'm just following my natural shape since this is a glam joker look. I'm staying true to my brow shape. Picking up some iridescent glitter, I'm going to add some sparkles to the brows by just pressing this right over the pomade. I'm going to prime my eyes using a white cream paint to just even out my lid. Picking up a dark purple matte eyeshadow, I'm going to start blending this into the crease and I'm going to slightly wing out the shape of the shadow. Now I'm going to dip into a brighter purple matte and blend that closer to the lash line and into the crease. I'm also gonna blend the brighter purple on the lower lash line and smoke out the blend into a wing shape. Picking up a matte bright green, I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. Going into a foiled lime green shadow, I'm gonna wet my brush and blend onto the lid and into the inner corners of the eye. Using a foiled purple shadow, I'm gonna press this into the outer corners of the eye and the lower lash line for a metallic finish. Highlight the inner corners of the eye using a foiled gold eyeshadow and also wet your brush because this really makes that gold pop. I'm now gonna apply a blendable smudgy black liner into the waterline and we're gonna start to bring in that smokiness in this eye look. Using a matte black eyeshadow, I'm going to define the eyes in the outer corners and also on the lower lash line. I'm applying the black shadow heavily but in little bits as I go so I don't over apply it. A good tip is using a clean blending brush to blend out any harsh edges if you do have any. You want this look to be really blown out. Here I'm applying a light purple shadow to the temples and cheeks and this is a shimmery purple. I'm just gonna drape this color around the eyes connecting into the eyeshadow so everything kind of blends together evenly. I'm gonna highlight using a purple duochrome highlighter and I'm just applying this to the cheekbones and the bridge of the nose. Using a black glitter on a stippling brush, I'm gonna add some glitter smudges on the outer corners of the eyes so the shadow appears smudgy like it was wet and then dried. This is gonna be a really messy type of eye look. Now pop on some black mascara and your most dramatic lashes that you own. I'm going back in with a black liquid liner just to conceal the lash band. Taking some black shadow, I'm going to press into the glitter and drag the brush down to create some streakiness and patchiness. I'm hollowing out the face using a light gray shadow and I'm applying this using an angled contour brush. I'm shading above the cheekbones just to make my cheekbones look higher and bringing the brush down to my mouth. I'm also going to shade the jawline and my temples. Now I'm using an off-white face powder from the contouring palette and I'm going to apply this right under the cheekbones and this is going to bring even more attention to the cheeks. Using a black liquid lipstick, I'm going to draw in the Joker's smile using a really thin brush. I'm following my natural lip line and then flicking the brush up and outwards. 
You can always clean up with concealer if your lines aren't perfect. That really helps make that line very straight. And I always use concealer to clean up any line. With a hot red liquid lipstick, fill in the center of your lips. I'm now shading the lips with the black eyeshadow to blend that harsh black line we created with the liquid lipstick and to fade it in for an ombre effect. What I found was super helpful is using a black liquid liner to really straighten out the lip line. I'm applying a sticky adhesive and then I'm going to tap in some red glitter on the center of the lips and I go in sections and keep applying more glitter as I go. Now it's time to add some finishing touches to the look and here I am stippling in some more glitter. Using matte purple airbrush makeup, I'm going to start contouring my chest and this is going to make the face look very cohesive with the body. I'm also going to go in with a matte green afterwards just right over the purple. Picking up some green and silver glitter paste, I'm going to glitter up the body for this messy glam joker look. And I'm applying glitter on both sides of my shoulders, fading into my chest. For the costume, I popped on a green wig and gold jewelry to bring that joker feel in. I'm wearing a gold grill and a gold tooth, and I'm also rocking these green sequin gloves and a sequin jacket with a tube top, which I think would look awesome at a dark Halloween party. This is the final Glitter Glam Joker Halloween look. If you loved this look, don't forget to thumbs this video up and smash the subscribe button right now for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in to my bootiful Halloween, and I'll see you next time.